Welcome to my channel. Mr. Came and watch. Today we are watching Breaking Bad Season 4 Episode 7. Problem Dog. Okay, interesting. We got some good setup in the episodes before this, so I'm expecting things to maybe ramp up. They might continue to set up for an episode or two, but we're definitely going to start getting into the meat of the season, the conflict that's going to ascend into the climax, and I cannot wait, so let's just get into this. They play in video games at a very high volume. The graphics are good. I feel like this game would be kind of traumatizing for him, considering what he did a few episodes ago. Yep, here we go. It's coming. I don't think the term exposure therapy applies in this case. So Jesse's not okay. That's the same car he was detailing the same day he fainted. Well, the law says they don't have to take it back at all. Fine. Walt, man, his pride is just through the roof. <laughs> just couldn't let anybody else win. He feels like the dealership was beating him, his wife as well, and he just can't have anyone doing it. <laughs> he needs to call that same tow truck driver from the first episode, the guy who just doesn't care, doesn't ask questions. Jesus Christ came down one, two others as you would have He's just gonna destroy the car? Walt is crazy. How long do you think that would take? <laughs> I was like, dude, that call better end before the explosion. Bottom line, your little joyride's gonna set you back about uh, 52,000 bucks, so was it worth it? <laughs> I don't need to hear the blow by blow. Just tell me it's done. Walt already thinks he's a mob boss. He's just, don't trouble me with this. Just get it done. He will see me dead. And there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so part of this is he thinks For that sure he's a dead man. This Pinkman says he needs you too much. I mean, at this point, Pinkman knows at least the process just as well as Walt, and he's more controllable. And you tell Saul before you tell me? I was at a diner. Oh, I just realized he's uh, fixing up his right house now. a little bit. That's nice. That's a step in the right direction. Did he speak to you? Is he going to tell the he's truth? It was over in 10 seconds. He said he sees things in people. What kind of game is he playing? Walt, man, this isn't, this isn't the road. That you'd forget, let alone Gail, let alone Victor. What about this girlfriend of yours? Oh man, he's Her just brother. pressing trauma buttons all over. Drop the sales pitch. I'll do it. Kill Gus? Does I'll he kill know? Him. First chance I get. Wow. One. Walt is truly awful for even remotely requesting that of him. He didn't verbally say it, but that was what he was there for. And two, so sad that Jesse is so willing at this point. You know what? He's doing better. He's focused on the case. Hi. <laughs> that was an interesting face Marie just made. Somewhere between happy and suspicious. You make seven million. One hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year. And this is somehow bad news. Because the, the the car wash can't I mean, report there is that. no car wash in the world that could do this kind of business. If you want out, just say that you want out. It's not what she's saying. Let's figure out how to do this so that it looks okay. Yeah, I have no idea how they're gonna do it. Because obviously they would need to buy more car washes or other businesses. But even that wouldn't be believable. What is that little science experiment? Oh, that's the stuff, the... Is it that same nut that kills people or something? You slip it into his food or drink 36 hours later. You know, Mike was inside this house. They do not know that this house isn't bugged. That's my prediction of the moment. I bet Mike bugged the house, and now Gus knows about it. What if they search me? Will they do that? Okay. 
That seems like a decent hiding place. At first when he was going for the cigarettes in his pocket, I thought he was just putting it in his pocket. And I was like, that that's not the place, man. But he's he's smart. He knows what's up. Whatever you do, don't smoke it. You know they have a drive through right? Nah, this is Well that be. line makes me think that he exercise. might. And that's scary. Jesus. Ain't we a pair. Is he going there just for the food or he is he on the case? I guilted him into it, yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. You pulled the old poor widow me and my little twubbles. Am I right? <laughs> Baby. Agent Schrader. Oh hey, how you doing? Well, thank you. Good to see ya. Walter Jr., do you uh Oh he is on the case. Man, they've got so many guards. Two visible, one on the Is he gonna try it right now? I guess he feels the pressure to get it done the first time he sees him because he doesn't see him that often. You're gonna be here today. You're gonna have a gun. It's loaded. <sighs> I don't wanna <laughs> see that in your hand unless you see me with mine. All right. Okay, so he didn't do it. He's gotta look for a different opportunity. I don't think that was the right opportunity. He didn't know who was gonna drink that coffee or if Gus would even drink it. He has to know. Well, I guess we're seeing Gus drink it right now. So it probably was a good opportunity. And maybe he did do it. Maybe we just didn't see it. But I don't think he did it. Okay, these were the guys who attacked the truck. El único que viene soy yo. Tome asiento. <laughs> you want assorted veg vegetables? Una ruptura absoluta. Mm, I don't think he's going to take it. Así es que sí. Es que no. Is he thinking he can just shoot him? Because we already know he doesn't really value his own life. I mean, he does a little bit more now because of the whole situation with Mike and stuff, but I don't think that was a complete change of character, just sort of a band-aid on a problem. He said he sees something in me. Like what? If I had to put it in a word, I'd guess loyalty. Only maybe you got it for the wrong guy. <laughs> I mean, there is some truth to that. Walt, he's had his back in moments, but he's also kind of abusive and manipulative. You do it. I guess that's the importance of the scene right here is he'd probably be better off if his loyalty was to this guy. But I think the tragedy of Jesse will be that his loyalty is going to end up being to Walt. You sober now? Four days. Four days is four days. You're here. Amen. Anything you want to talk about? Please talk. Please. Killed a dog. So I think the dog is Gale. No, he wasn't sick. But he was just like a problem dog. He said the thing. No, this dog never... No, he was making meth. What kind of a person kills a dog for no reason? Maybe he should have told the truth, because... People care more about dogs than they do about people. So I should stop judging and accept. To start, I mean, you back your truck over your own kid and you like accept? You're nothing to me but customers. I made you my bitch. You okay with that? No. Wow. Honestly, I, I have no words for that scene. Maybe I'll have words in a few days, but that was such an emotionally and morally complex situation that I have no words. I'm gonna just have to think about it for a few days. It's been a week. What's going on? I haven't seen him. Now he's lying to the person he's loyal to. So, does that mean a changing of loyalties? Graduated a doorman. Finally found your calling. Welcome back. <laughs> you know, after four seasons of the show, the a-hole part of him is kind of charming. Steve said you might have something for us. And what caught my eye is uh, his specialty products, Blue. This is your Heisenberg? Heisenberg's former cook. That there is a high-volume HEPA industrial air filtration system. Oh my gosh, that's a huge find. So, I take a peek into Madrigal Electromotive. This is awesome. I'm enjoying this scene so much. But Hank's the goat. A tiny little foothold in American fast food. Pollos Hermanos. But now I get this crazy <laughs> idea. Yes. And I can't shake it. Don't shake I mean, it. I, what's a vegan 
Doing it a fried chicken joint. This guy. Oh, that's going to be tough. Because that's, that's a leap in logic that it's circumstantial and he's such a big donor to their department. The higher-ups are not going to like that, but they're gonna, he's going to have to have more evidence. Hey, no offense, but I think you're really reaching. I couldn't agree more, guys. Does he have more evidence? Because that would help. What a Gustavo Fring's fingerprints doing in Gil Bedecker's apartment. Ooh, that's a smoking gun. Now he has evidence. That That's a clever way to do things. To lead with the idea that he's making logical leaps that no one could possibly believe. And then BAM! Smoking gun. Alright, that was a good episode. That was a really good episode. I want to start off with the scene that I didn't have any words for. And I still haven't had enough time to really process it. But I think I'll just say what I was thinking in different moments. So, I had a hard time connecting with Jesse emotionally because he wasn't really being honest. I know we know enough that you could still make the emotional connection because you know what he's talking about. He's not talking about a dog, he's talking about a person. But I think the fact that he was talking about a dog and not a person made it harder for me to connect to it emotionally. There was a moment when he first started yelling at the group leader and I really liked how the group leader also kind of yelled in that moment. And that's kind of a, a pretty common therapeutical technique of sort of being on the same level as the client. So if the client starts raising their voice, you don't yell, but you, you increase the volume of your voice to sort of match them. Because if you want to bring them down, you have to be at the same level they're at. I found it interesting that Jesse used a dog as his alternative because people love dogs and you could just feel the group like you did what to a dog and just everyone was going to turn on him of course they probably would have done it too for a person and they might have had to I don't really know the rules of mandatory reporting and stuff but I don't know I don't know if the group leader would have had to report that he killed a person to authorities or if it would stay within the group because of privacy. I don't know how that works. I also liked that moment where Jesse had finally reached sort of the end of his outburst where he told the group and admitted that he was there to sell them meth, which I think is partially true. I think he also wants to change deep down, but he is there to sell them meth, or at least was. And that combined with attacking why the group leader is in his position where he killed his child. I think the group leader probably rightly set a boundary with him and just said, no, I don't accept that. I think that boundary is important. I think Jesse could still change from this group, but it would take, it would take a lot more work. I'll just say that. So those are kind of my thoughts on that scene. The rest of the episode was good. I really enjoyed that end scene there with Hank explaining what he has on Gus. It was just really cool to see Hank really be a very good detective. And that was really fun. So, that was great. Let's get into the next one. This attack on my brother and I, I don't, I don't know. Okay, flashback to this scene. 2043. Do you think he's gonna remember this moment with Walter White and how the guy was staring at him as he was crawling across the floor and maybe he'll make the connection that Walt is part of it. When I wouldn't give it, they settled instead for DEA agent Schrader. Marco was shot in the face and died instantly. Lionel lingered for several hours. This is what comes of blood for blood, Hector. He's not wrong. What was that? Like a two second clip of blood in a swimming pool? Okay, maybe that'll mean something later. Yes! <laughs> like that pink doll in the swimming pool before. I mean, one minute I'm starting a new business. I, I mean, life as I know it will never. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't care. It's like they say, you know, man plans and God laughs. That is such <laughs> bullshit. Because to Walt, he is God. Never. Cancer's cancer, so what the 
hell with your cancer. Living with cancer for the better part of a year. Who's in charge? Me. <laughs> That's how I live my life. I mean, I think that advice is probably good for that other guy because he's not a super prideful guy. He seemed pretty chill, humble. So he could actually use that advice and do some good. Ah, is it starting to starting to occur to him that maybe they're on to him? Sir, your fingerprints were found at a crime scene. Really? That's surprising. Gail Bedecker's apartment. Oh, he's probably got a nice lie. Fifteen years ago, I established a chemistry scholarship. Gail was a recipient of this scholarship till I ran into him a few weeks ago. He's well, a good liar. He was a warm, gentle person. I thought a lot of him. I don't know that there's any, any way to poke holes into this story. So it's sort of a he said, he said. I, I know you're a, a Chilean national, but there are no records of you ever living there. Really? <laughs> now he knows how much Hank has looked into him. General Pinochet's government was guilty of a great many sins. <laughs> He's got a good answer to that one, too. Okay, I think that's it, Gus. Um, thank you. Oh, no, no, please, please don't get on. <laughs> He's just so charming. How are they ever going to catch him? I mean, I don't think Hank really likes charming, so he's going to keep digging. And I think that will that will help a lot cuz Hank's not going to give up. And the charming thing doesn't really work with Hank because Hank's charm is being an a-hole. So, so Gus is completely we different. Him? Well, I'll admit to a certain degree of bias. Well, that's that good that he admits said, that. Uh, I believed him. Ah, uh, yeah, I think he was believable. I mean, that's why he's so good at it. For the week. Plus, there's a little extra. Thank you. I didn't know we'd see her again. Okay. That's cool. She's nice. Carpe diem, okay? Okay. <laughs> Someone's been watching Dead Poets Society. Okay, getting creative. Is this sustainable? Because he's going to keep making money. Yeah, that's probably a better place. Hey, Walt, do you, uh, you do me a favor? There's this uh, gem and mineral shell that's opening the fairground. Sure. Turn right here. Okay. Is this really a fair, or is he going to try and get Walt's thoughts on something? You know, hey, Walt, there's no rock show, okay? <laughs> Are you hungry? We're not here for the chicken. Oh, <laughs> what's he going to ask of him? You ready for your mind to be blown? Gustavo Fring, the man's a drug dealer. <laughs> Maybe this works into Walt's plan. Maybe he doesn't have to kill him, but he can get him arrested. This guy is terms of endearment convincing. <laughs> so, officially, Fring's not a suspect. My <laughs> and Walt's also got to be afraid that if Gus sees him with Hank, he's going to think that Walt is kind of double agenting him. See that uh, Volvo station wagon over there? Stick this on it. GPS <laughs> tracker. Hank doesn't know that he's, he's getting Walt into so much trouble. Sure. Okay, here's what you do. <laughs> you got to get out of it, Walt. Just act normal. Okay, maybe that helped that he was like, here, look, this is what I'm doing. Please notice this. I'm not trying to betray you. I didn't do it. See, do it. What the hell? This moment is not gonna stick with Hank immediately, but when he, when a much more obvious moment hits Hank that Walt's involved in this, this is gonna be a memory that sort of adds to it. He's gonna think like, he didn't do it the first time. He went inside and talked to Gus first, and then he did it. Because right now he could just think that he chickened out on the first time and placed it the second time, but... Are we alone? Maybe. There's still a chance that Mike has that place bugged. Hank catching Gus equals Hank catching us. Yeah, that's probably true. For you to request a sit-down with Gus, so you need to be able to be properly coached. The problem is... I think Mike would be the one sent to coach him on this. 
Anything important? <laughs> Ooh, now he knows that Jesse's not being honest with him. He's gonna have less trust for Jesse. This might drive a wedge between them as well. Which helps Gus, because he's already slowly getting Jesse's trust more and more. He'll never make a case. Seems to me the bigger problem's the cartel. Mike's good. So he wants it to show that he's always working. A man of business. The cartel has given me its ultimatum, to which I've said no. Back at the pool, with the blood. Is today the day, Hector? Gustavo, siéntate, me estás poniendo nervioso. Okay, a little background. You. Ese pollo que cocinan, que es el más sabroso en todo México. Max is the chef. That guy has to be related to Tuco. Si tu socio es el chef, ¿quién eres tú? No me digas que solamente estás para probar. That's my dream job. Yo mando a mis hombres a su restaurante. Si no regresan en drogados. Okay, so they are doing it early on. Vestimuestas. Es que queremos trabajar con usted, don Eladio. Este producto es la droga del futuro. I have nothing to say. This is just so interesting. Le podemos mostrar cómo fabricarla. Y usted se queda con todas las ganancias. Yo quiero que me digas una cosa. Si tú eres el cocinero, ¿para qué lo necesito él? ¿Por qué tengo que hacer negocio con un hombre? Que me falta respeto. Hopefully he comes up with the right words. No fue intención insultarlo. I wonder where the brother is though. Gustavo's the only one left. Él es mi compañero. Por favor, se lo I kind of had a feeling that that was going to happen. I don't really know why. And that's what the blood in the pool water is. I figured that one out. La única razón Okay, but what does that mean with him talking to the older version of him, saying, is today the day? Maybe is sort of a payback? Look at me. That's such an interesting dynamic, because there's so many people... Maybe next time who are just so obsessed with power that people don't realize that power never lasts. It will always, it will always fade. That guy was super powerful when he was younger, but now he's old, everybody gets old. And that's just another example of how if your goal in life is power, you better just realize that someday you're gonna lose it, inevitable. All right, that was a really good episode. I enjoyed that. Very interesting to see the backstory of Gus, where the Chicken Brothers comes from, and why he's the only Chicken Brother left. So yeah, I'm ready to get into the next one. Okay, who's bleeding? Seems more like a bloody nose situation. I guess if the glasses lens came out, maybe it's a cut from glasses. We'll see. Monroe shows just some sort of guy code for strip club. Yeah, huh? you get your singles. <laughs> <laughs> She's on to him, kind of. Relax, buddy. It's a little spy movie. It is for Walt. He could die. Get the bad guy. Get the bad guy. If Hank doesn't notice Mike, then. He might be a good detective, but his observation in the moment skills are not the highest quality. Also, I think that Gus probably put the tracker back on. Okay, it wasn't Mike, it's this guy, so that works. Yep, it's back. And it's gonna say he was at the polio place the whole time. Okay. All right, baby. Let's, Let's see. see. What the hell? Look at this. Boom. Boom. That's home. That's work. That's home. <laughs> that is kind of a interesting move maybe. by Gus. Maybe. It's almost like a middle it's finger to Hank. Because a normal person would go to at least a couple other places. 
a very suspicious man who's lurking in my neighborhood. Thank you so much. If you would, I, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Walt. And let's go. Walt's so afraid that Gus is going to go after him, but he also, at the same time, does these little things just to drive Gus crazy. Which I would imagine is probably how Gus got to where he was, because obviously from the last episode we saw where he started, and it was a very, very similar to Walt's situation, sort of at the mercy of other people. And I'm sure little by little he grabbed power. So I'm sure Gus probably sees a lot of himself in Walt. Go home, watch TV. It's my life. What do you watch? I just run truckers. What happens on that one? Guys drive on ice. It's about ice road truckers, man. Should check it out. I've never seen it. I am gonna do it. Oh man, don't you have enough cancer already? I was kind of thinking that. I think we're both dead men anyway. Business is good. Really good. So good that I'm thinking maybe you don't need to even work your second job. Oh, he's not going to go for that. He likes his second job. Maybe you could start thinking about an exit strategy. I'm working on it. One does not simply leave the meth game. Now who is he planning on tracking? Maybe he's tracking Jesse because he doesn't trust him? I'm looking at it online right now. It's a, it's a big warehouse and sounds promising, right? That is this place. Though I think it's covered in people with guns. Upset stomach and, you know, everything. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I, I, I get to pay me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be one guy. I'll find another ride for this one. What if it's Walt Jr. and he endangers Walt Jr.? I think you can possibly hold off for a, a day or two. I enjoyed, you know, the time with you and... and... <laughs> <laughs> Laying it on sure. thick. It means that much to you. <laughs> He'll probably warn Gus first, though. Mike. Uh, listen, what is it, Walter? <laughs> Might make him angry. Thanks, guy. Oh my god. Oh, Ted. Ted. Ted's back. Ted! An audit? My god, you're facing a felony charge here. Is Skylar a part of that? Because she was, I guess, the bookkeeper. Well, maybe there's some method or some, you know, use. Ted, it doesn't work. Like that. This, yeah, already... this is the force. It's like the force. That's not how the force works. My name. My signatures are all over those books. I can't have this in my life. I because I am be also in trouble here with the law. I'm going to figure out a way through this somehow. Okay? I don't think he will. This is. Just adding to the pot of trouble that we've established that is Breaking Bad. Is he gonna kill Mr. White's brother-in-law? I mean, he's the reason for all this. You're right. Makes sense to get rid of him. And there's, there's Mr. White. Never cook for Gus again. I want Mike to speak. I want to know what he's thinking about all this. If something were to happen to the man, would you have a problem with that? Who really cares what I think? Was Mike asking if something were to happen to Walt or to Hank? Maybe testing to see where Jesse's loyalties are? I don't really know. Maybe I'm maybe I missed something. <laughs> Jesse, you are next. You better get down. Man, yeah, I knew Mike was gonna save him. Because Jesse froze. Now I wonder if Hank is gonna show up. Yeah, they're just trying to scare him. They're not gonna try and kill him. <laughs> Man, he's brave. Whew. That was intense. Get a request, S C. See, giving in to their demands. Maybe he sees that as the only way to keep things going for now. The cartel needs Gus. The rest of us are like open season. Is he doing anything about that? Enough. You got questions. Ask him yourself. Yeah, Mike is completely loyal to Gus, at least from what I can see. And Jess's loyalty is being built with Mike and more than Gus. Take all the time you need, Mr. Beneke. That's why we're here. Oh, I am so sorry. Whew, 
This building is so confusing. Special Agent James Bacaris. Ooh, special. Well, then perhaps you can shed some light on this history of missing revenue. Missing? I don't know exactly what she has planned here. Let's take a look. Well, you know what they say about opinions, right? Everyone's got one. <laughs> is she doing the playing dumb? Got a good instinct for them. Right, Teddy? Play along, Ted. Play along. I don't know if she's... All falling into place now. I don't know if this is going to help Ted, but it, I think it's helping her for sure. Ignorance of the law doesn't equate to criminality. Pay your back taxes. Pay the penalties. Pay with what? You have to settle. Wish I could. She might loan him some money because... She's got to protect herself as well. Once again, if he's able to knock on that door without anybody intercepting him, I don't really get the security. But, let's see if an opportunity comes up. I... My guess is an opportunity will come up and he won't do it. Because I think his loyalties are changing a little bit. Will eat first. Or maybe I'm wrong. Because I have been saying this whole time that I believe Jesse to be extremely loyal. And obviously Gus sees that in him. And the show is telling us that maybe his loyalties are changing, but that's not what loyalty is. Maybe his loyalty is to Walt and it will stay that way because that's what loyalty is. And both me and Gus know that he's loyal. I need you to answer one question for me. Can you cook Walter's formula? There's there. Formula. Yeah, they're definitely Can laying plans. No. It's your plan. Get me to keep cooking for you after you kill Mr. White. You kill Mr. White, you're gonna have to kill me too. That is not what I asked you. And I need your help. I need you to help prevent an all-out war. Answer the question. This is... Oh, come on. I wanted to see his answer. I don't know how Jesse could be wrong in that situation, though. That's what the question's for. And I don't know how that prevents war, but maybe we'll figure that out. Or I'll figure that out. You guys already know. The problem with this plan is if she gives that money to Ted... On some level, Ted will know that she's also involved in something less than legal. And the more people who know, the more dangerous it is, so... And he likes her, but she... On some level, still wants Walt. So maybe he gets his heart broken, and then... If he knows that she's doing something illegal, he might turn on her. Yeah, I, th I thought he was tracking Jesse. I guess that's pretty obvious. Yo, Mr. White, hey, uh, I really gotta talk to you. Come over. Thank God. Come on in. Okay, uh, we'll see how they handle this. Neither of them are very something. mature. Word has come down that they they want me to go to Mexico. Word has come down? The cartel <laughs> has been, and, and they want your formula. Well, I, I gotta give it to them. You know, I mean, Gus doesn't trust you, so I gotta go. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now I want Walt's response. What is he thinking? He's just sitting there like... So you saw Gus? What? No. no. Oh, Jesse. What the hell? Jeez. Okay, I knew you would react this way. That's why I didn't say anything. That's true. In relationships that are highly volatile, secrets become very common. He never left the room! Are you lying, little shit? This reaction from Walt is exactly why he keeps secrets from him. Two hours and 18 minutes. This is how I knew. I don't know how Jesse hasn't completely flipped sides because Walt completely has zero respect for him. What you've done for me? Yeah, actually. Okay, that's where the cut comes from. I can only laugh at these two because they're literally like brothers. Because they're, they're not going to kill each other. They're going to fight until their anger dissipates. They're literally just brothers. It's escalating a little more than normal brothers, but... How is he going to explain all the bruises and stuff? Can you walk? 
How are they going to work together? They're business partners. Wow, okay. I have no idea where that's going to go. Like I said, how are they going to work together if they're business partners and they don't want to ever see each other again? I guess we'll see. Very interesting episode. Very dramatic and potentially show-altering because looks like they're kind of in a bad place. Well, definitely in a bad place. That was definitely quite a cliffhanger, and I really want to get into the next one. I probably won't today, which is going to kill me, but we'll survive. Really enjoying the show so far. Season 4 has been really fun. Can't wait to see how it ends. So if you like this video, like it. Comment if you want to talk about it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Consider becoming a patron to see uncut reactions, early access reactions, and to vote in polls. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, is he heading to Mexico now? They gonna pick him up? In an Uber? Oh, in an airplane. Avion, if you will. Jesse didn't pack any bags. Is it just gonna be a day trip to kinda teach him how things are done? It's too late to run, Jesse. Doesn't seem like they're any of them are friends. They're just kind of looking at each other like. Why does Walt even have a phone? I think your first big birthday decision is breakfast or lunch. Pancakes? Pancakes, it is. Oh hey, um, could you do me a favor? I forgot to get He didn't answer the question. Was it bre sure. breakfast or lunch? Breakfast or lunch? Answer the question. Answer the question. Surprise! It's from Oh, me it's a, a PT it's cruiser. Like yeah. Th thanks, mom. It's uh, it, it it's great. Come on, man. You have a car. I know that. I know that you used to have a sports car, but you were never gonna get to keep that, man. And it has a, a CD player, so you have that little book with all your CDs in it. I, I'm kind of starving. He wants breakfast and or lunch. Let's get those pancakes going. Honestly, on the list of things that make me most uncomfortable in this life, it's unappreciated gifts. Like, it just, it makes me feel so awkward. Like, you can at least lie and just act excited. Saul Goodman, thank you for coming down. <laughs> Worlds colliding. Your great aunt Birgit passed away. I'm sorry, who? Uh, Birgit left behind a sizable estate of... Okay, Skylar looking out. To the tune of 621,000... That's just enough to pay the IRS. Wow. Just... Just say yes. Shake his hand and leave. Nothing to see here. And it cuts to this, where they have nothing to see there. Huh? Huh? This is Kimiko. This is a broma. Es una broma. That's funny. A trabajar. <laughs> Him? Is he funny? It's a little uh, Arrested Development joke for you. <laughs> Just be the chemist. I'll have to wait for the editing to see if I did that right. Por favor, muestra el ácido en el acético. Lo sintetizamos nosotros mismos. They synthesize their own. That's too much. I don't know what that means. Esto es ridículo. I tell this asshole if he wants to learn how to make my product. I speak English. So you understand what asshole means. Gives us time to talk about the state of this lab. Okay. And then we're going to clean up every possible source of contamination. And only then, we cook. He's stepped into the role. Who do you think you are? I'm the guy your boss brought here to show you how it's done. You're lucky he hasn't fired your ass. Now, if you don't want that to happen, I suggest you stop whining like a little bitch and do what I say.
mic over there. So proud. Gus is proud too. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> He's not okay. Come in if you're coming in. <laughs> what a way to find your dad. I appreciate that you're concerned. I'm fine. He doesn't seem fine. Is he drunk? Or was he just beat up that bad? Because Jesse didn't look that bad. I guess Jesse got in most of the hits. I would never, never hear the end of it. Flynn's dressed like that character. I don't know the name because I don't think I've seen the whole movie, but I'll, I'll put up a picture. How did you get into a fight? With who? It was with Mike Tyson. <laughs> Whoa. That's got to be scary for your kid. I made a mistake. I had it coming. <laughs> I don't think this is acting. So maybe this emotion is coming from his fear of death? Or maybe he is drunk and it's just, okay. just okay. part of that. Come on. Look at me. Flynn's got to grow up real quick now. That's good, Jesse. Hmm. Okay. That is interesting. Is some of that emotion coming from true care for Jesse? I know I'm pretty harsh on Walt, you know, with like saying stuff like he doesn't care at all about Jesse. I mean, that's probably unfair. These characters are just very complicated. He can do the things he does to Jesse and still care. Is it as good as Walt's? Let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> well done. First of many. What? What's that mean? You're staying. Huh? What? You're too recognizable. Celebrities have to get their cars washed just like everybody so colorfully. Else. Look, I wouldn't have come if it wasn't important. Three hours after leaving my office. He bought a Mercedes. That won't be going Ted's got a problem. Where is he now? I have to go beat some sense into him. I'm sorry I said beat some sense right as we cut to Walt, who had been beaten. That was a little insensitive to Walt. Hey! A little more gentle. That's why he's a father and I am not. I took these painkillers that I had left over from my surgery and I made a brilliant decision to wash them down with a couple of beers. Okay, so I was part right. I wish I could take back last night. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I'm your father. My father died when I was six. He had Huntington's disease. He spent a lot of time in the hospital. Who I remembered, but it was a lie. But he remembered him as he was degenerating. One real, actual memory of my father. And I remember the smell in there. Like they didn't want you smelling the sick people. Oh, there was this stench of lice. <laughs> this is a very visceral story, Walt. Maybe you should have been an author. Lying on the bed is my father. He's all twisted up. He just scares me. But I can't even be sure that he knows who I am. Well, that connects with Flynn. Because he called him Jesse last night. I don't want that to be the memory you have of me when I'm gone. Remembering you that way wouldn't be so bad. The bad way oh, to my remember gosh. you would be the way, the way you've been this whole last year. Whoa. At least Truth last night, bomb. you were... There's so much to say about this. You were real, you know? Gosh, should I talk about it now and potentially miss show, or should I hope that I remember it at the end of the episode? Because I have a lot to say about that. That was a very interesting psychological scene. I think I'll remember it. Hopefully I do. Nice surprise. What's up? Mm, I just thought I'd swing by. Why'd you buy that car, Ted? Why? Very good news, and um, Get the business going again. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I figured we haven't been down long, so we should be able to get most of our cash infusion. Huh. I guess someone's looking out for me. I guess so. And it's not you, Ted. So the IRS stuff, 
that's resolved? Well, it's not that simple. Um, I have that car, you see. Skylar, um, this is my money. No, it's not. It's my money. And thank you for your concern, but I'm done talking about this. How much is she going to tell? From whom exactly do you think you got that 600000 Ted? That was you? Oh, she told him. That's crazy. The same pool that his brother died in? I think they might have just been really close friends, but... They're the chicken brothers. Stay down here forever. I promise you this. Either we're all going home or none of us are. Give me a hug. <laughs> Love the the power play. The intimate power play that a hug can be. Gustavo. Quanto me alegra. No, impossible. Demasiado bueno para compartirla. ¿Qué piensas tú, Gustavo? <laughs> you, you do what you want with it, man. Just don't crash it over my head. That's that's the vibe I get from him. Cuidado, muchacho. Si riegas una gota, te corto la mano. How is that supposed to help them? I'd be like. <laughs> Checking for poison? Salud. That must be the title of the episode. <laughs> He's only interested in chemistry. Animate, hombre. <laughs> He's kind of like me watching this scene. Mike is in the corner like, I'm here to protect you, but I couldn't actually do that here. You can tell Mike's scared. Like, to some degree, because he's Gus's bodyguard, essentially, but he has zero power here. It was poisoned? Oh my gosh. I wonder what was in it. Mike has to take care of this guy. Oh, wow. That was a heady play. Gus is insane. Lee Smart. <laughs> business is business, right? Wow, Gus. Jesse, some more trauma for you. Get us out of here, kid. <laughs> Gus's operation is a, a little hurt, but they struck a mighty blow to the cartel, so. Wow, that was insane. That was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Okay, just starting off with how it ended. That was cool. That was a great plan. It didn't quite go as planned perfectly, but I think they'll come out on top. Yeah, that, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Now, to that conversation, the Brian Cranston monologue, Walt talking about his dad, and then Flynn's response. That conversation just made me think a lot about why Walt is what he is. He obviously comes from a generation and really a time that views gender roles as very specific. Like the man is supposed to be the person who earns the money, who protects his family. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's what he thinks. I think his earliest memories of his father, seeing him as such a, a weakened place has definitely influenced him to see his role as to be perfect and strong, to have zero weakness, because his father wasn't able to do that for him. And he views that as a slight to 
to how he was raised, or just something that he wished he had. So he feels like he has to, I guess, overcompensate for that and be perfect as a traditional role father. On the other hand, his son was born, obviously, with issues in his ability to walk. So I think that's influenced him to kind of be the opposite, to view, and he's been able to see how his dad's perfection in his role as a father and protector or whatever has really not been a positive thing in their family's life. It's really brought them down. And that's something I noticed from the beginning. The protective father that he has really just comes down to pride, and that's hurt his family quite a bit. And I think his son sees that, and I'm glad Flynn called him out on that. It was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it, and I'm ready to get into the next one. Is this for Mike? Did they take him to the hospital? Is that the safest place? Oh, it's not a hospital. Is this for Mike? Do they have a, a medical team in Mexico on standby? In here! Oh. Jesse opened the door for Mike. He's the one he's most worried about because he's the one he has connection to. Obviously, these guys are employed by Gus, so... Hey! Hey! We want him! Mike's got to hold on for a minute because until Gus is alive and well, Mike has to wait. This man needs help! This man pays my salary. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I think Mike knew going into this that that's that would be the protocol that's crazy gus had a medical team supposed definitely in mexico obviously they wouldn't have driven that car to the u.s so that that was mexico my brother he keeps talking about driving out to the factory farm i should be the one to take him out there right <laughs> it's the strong silent type my next three moves is sitting here and waiting you know, supermodels and speedboats, you know. <laughs> I'm willing to bet it's none of that. I'm just saying I'm here, you know. I'm going to talk about it. That is nice of Hank. I don't He's want good to talk people. about it to you or to anyone else. Someone finally took a look at him. You think he needs more blood? It's in the refrigerator. I mean, you think Gus would... No, that's your negative, blood. Yes. Oh, negative. That's what he needs. Okay, he is taking care of Mike. Because Gus, Gus cares enough about Mike. Mike's important to his his operation, so there's no way Gus would just want him to be sacrificed if they could save him. Water. And rest. Six miles to Texas. Walking? He was told water and rest, not six miles. Six miles is pretty far. I'll make it. I think you can run the lab by yourself. Don't you? He doesn't want Walt dead. Pay him off or fire him. Don't kill him. You know that won't work. Then you've got a problem. He's a loyal man. That's why you hired him for this stuff? Well, I've been thinking and uh, I decided I, I can't do it. So call me. I'm around. <laughs> Ted is making this so hard. You think that was planned? First, I want to tell you that I, I get it. I wonder, is he trying to be, to sort of take revenge Great. on her and Walt? What is this? I can't take your money. I don't know. It feels wrong. It feels wrong. To me, it does. I'm, not <laughs> Walt. I'm just saying, I, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Dude, no one's going to prison. Oh my god, how are you not following me here? <laughs> See, I, I take your advice. I pay the IRS. Then what? Then you don't owe them. I... Okay, but I still owe the bank, Skyler. Yes, but you are Just going to I pay prison. Fine doesn't make my life any less ruined. Yeah, your life's ruined, but... 
This is about me doing the right thing. Ted, are you blackmailing me? What? No. He hasn't said that. Can't. I don't want you to pay me, Ted. I want you to pay them. This scene is stressing me out. No, I don't. Right. It. <laughs> Ted's not going to make this easy. This bridge on the river Kwai? Never seen it. Wait, have I? No, I don't think I've seen it. I took a film class Hello, where there were like 10 movies I needed to watch and write an essay about. And I watched them, kind of. I was also playing FIFA. But I don't think Bridge on the River Kwai is one of them. I watched The General, Citizen Kane. I think that was about it. I think Black Beauty, but I didn't pay attention to any of it. I think there's a horse. Don Elalio, Don Paco, Cesar, Reynaldo, Cisco, and Luis. <laughs> Man, Gustavo As is, your is petty. Do you know what you're looking? I to see. <laughs> He's gonna show him the kid. Jesse. Do you remember him? That young man shot Joaquin. <laughs> me? Will you look at me now? Look at me, Hector. Look at me. Look at me. He doesn't have to. It's the last power he has. Well, they just let anybody walk up in that place. Visit the people. Going to the chicken farm it's straight ahead. No, I'll take a little detour. Yeah, there's this uh, industrial laundry I want to check out. <laughs> yeah, turn right here. Wow, Hank. Sounds like a real shot in the dark there. <laughs> They're all going to be like, hey, well, welcome back. Matagrill Electromotive also owns a subsidiary that manufactures this uh, state of the art air filtration system. <laughs> I think this also shows, because we know that Hank looks down on Walt for manliness reasons, I guess. But I think Walt's also always looked down on Hank for intelligence reasons, right? He doesn't think Hank's that smart because he's a macho, macho dude. Walt, what are you doing? You just missed it. Just bang at you over here. <laughs> I want it. That, that wasn't a good move, Walt. Hank's smarter than he gives him credit for. Sorry about all this. The guy, he just came out of nowhere. Yeah, actually, he didn't. <laughs> no more asking him to drive you on stakeouts. I'll do it. I know you won't. <laughs> right. The way I see it, we're good to go. That is, if this is still how you want to handle it. How's that? I don't want anyone hurt. All I want is for him to write a check. And I've got my A team on it. Bill Burr again? Huel, you happy? Reasonably. <laughs> Make you unhappy. Let's go find your checkbook. Ready? All right. <laughs> Ted is very slowly figuring out how deep Skylar is. 617,000? Made payable to the Internal Revenue Service. What? <laughs> Got it. Anytime Bill Burr's in an acting role, I've loved it. This, Mandalorian, King of Staten Island, he's good at this. All we need is a signature. He signed with his right hand. That's what the, the twist is. I didn't sign with my right hand, so it doesn't count. Okay, the tripping thing wasn't an accident before. That was obviously part of this, part of the planning. But is, is he okay? Did he just die? Does the laundry have to be dirty? Nope. <laughs> so what I've learned from this show, almost four complete seasons, is that there's just a lot of pettiness in the drug business. Just everyone's, I don't know, got a chip on their shoulder. 
Someone cooked here. Who was here? Jesse, but they're trying to keep them separated because his loyalty to Walt is too strong. Donna, how are you doing to all those back? Oh, oh, I'm ready to get you. Hey gamers, tell me if I'm wrong. Maybe they made Xbox looking controllers for the Nintendo. I know that you have been cooking without me. You will kill me. You gotta help me, please. Oh, he's begging. He said, I hope you end up buried in a barrel. It's true, it's true Walt. Respect goes both ways. You're lucky behind the scenes he is actually advocating for you, at least to live. Wow. Today's the day, huh? Obviously, we still got a season left of this. So there's no way he can die, right? You are done. Do not show your face at the laundry again. Or else you'll do what? What did you say? <laughs> the clouds coming over is symbolic. You can't kill me. Because Jesse wouldn't cook for you if you did. That's fair. That's true. That's Walt, man. If you really don't want to be doing this, then you gotta take this out. In the meantime, there's the matter of your brother-in-law. Can't. If you try to interfere, I will kill your wife. I will kill your son. I will kill your infant daughter. I believe him. What's Walt gonna do? I mean, he could, he'd have to kill Gus and all of his loyal henchmen, which doesn't seem possible. He just has to think, what would Heisenberg do? Gus is gonna murder my whole family. 125 grand, but you got four people. How long does it take for him to arrange? What if it's Mike? Can't say it's been a pleasure. Need you do one more thing for me. <laughs> just call, call anonymous. You. He's on commercials. People still watch cable at this point in time. I'll say it's the cartel. They're coming back to finish the job. Just give me an hour, and then you make the phone call. Well, I don't think any of this is going to be successful. But I am very interested to see how it all turns out. Are they going to be short some money because Skylar paid Ted? I feel like they had plenty. Where's the rest? Well, we got a pick. Gotta pick who we're saving. Holly doesn't uh, do much around the house, so. Where's the rest? Unfortunately, we're gonna have to let you go. Skyler, where is the money? I gave it to Ted. <laughs> wow. Look at this acting. <laughs> <laughs> the cartel, they want to kill Hank. Hurry, I'm here. I'm here. Who's laughing in the background? This scene is awesome. Just everything about it, the acting, how it was shot, the psychology of it all. This shot where he's already underground, symbolizing where Gus wants him, at least. Shot's really cool. Nice. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, I have less to say about this episode, which is kind of weird for this two-parter video that I had more to say in the middle, and now I don't have much to say because I'm just excited. I want to see what happens, which is going to be in a different video. Walt's reaction there was, it was intense. That's really all I can say about it. It was, it was crazy. I think it fits just reaching that deep sense of hopelessness that all you can do is laugh. Everything about it was fun. This The end of this season is, well, it's not over. There's two more episodes, but it's good. It's exciting. Okay, I'm going to watch the next couple episodes. Those will be in another video. Unfortunately, I've been doing three, three videos, but there was four episodes left in the season, and I didn't want to do three and one, so it's going to be two and two. So, yeah. 
If you like this video, like it, comment if you want to talk about it, subscribe if you want to see more. Consider becoming a patron to see uncut reactions, early access reactions, and to vote in polls. Thank you so much for watching. Is the DEA protecting them as well? I'm the real target. But we'll all be safer at Hanks. No, That's no, no, no one. It won't be enough. They have Jesse. He did this to my face. He's dangerous. How am I supposed to explain that to Marie or, or Junior or, or Hank? Or Holly. They're coming. No more prolonging. Yeah, even since, I mean, the cancer, he's always viewed his life as inevitable. You think Holly knows? I love the focus of that shot being on Walt. Just interesting shot. Man, they have the perfect lawn. You never have to mow. Back at the pool. Pools are important to the show. Maybe because it's so deep. Oh, he's just gonna sit and wait with the gun. Oh. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> the symbolism of that. <laughs> How many shots did it take to get it to land on him two times in a row? Why do we have to focus on that plant? What's that mean? The thing is, this is a response to a tip. All Gus has to do is kind of wait. Things will quiet down. They'll be like, ah, it was false tip. Anonymous threat against me? No. Someone didn't like the way I've been uh, spending my free time. What? Minerals? <laughs> Minerals. I start looking into, uh, Fring. From the chicken restaurant? Hank, what are you talking? <laughs> Gomez. Ugh. But I think Los Poyos Hermanos is a front for the biggest meth distributor in the Southwest. Steve. Oh my God. <laughs> you shouldn't be talking about this. What happened to good old fashioned knock and talk? <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. You were never very good at those, were you? <laughs> He's pulling the are you chicken strategy. And it's gonna work. They have that place cleaned up, though. So is there a problem? Not for you, no, no problem. We're just wondering if we could take a look around. Can I tell you a story? Yeah? I bust this chef, heroin possession. You know, maybe it came from the place that launders my chef wife. His story is a big load of steaming horseshit. I mean, Gomez. It's a good here. thing is. Is that the chef's daddy is a United States senator. If I don't, his old man <laughs> this is manipulative, and he needs a warrant. But for the sake of the story, he's doing a great job. Just the two of you? Well, this man is going to die. Come on, dog. You're doing a great job. You're a good boy. This is the one. Did he see anything? That's pretty well covered. <laughs> that guy's funny. You know what's happening upstairs? This is all a result of your former partner. Yeah, he's a complete and total dick, but I can't. I'm not signing off. The bond between teacher and student like said, is unbreakable. So what are you gonna do? There will be an appropriate response. <laughs> you are not entitled to that response. I don't know what Gus is gonna do. Hank's on to him. He's almost got him. Did they find anything? Hey kid, it's me, Goodman. Give me a call, would you? Hey, need to hear from you, all right? <laughs> Once again, more proof why this guy has his own show. What's so important? Well, they're here. The end time. End times. Said the thing. Would you put in a good word for me with Fring? Yeah? <laughs> he didn't say yeah. So what does that mean? Okay. Let's see if he can spot anything. Did the dog get any hits? Clean as a whistle. So he says. <laughs> Conflict of interest there, Skyler? Is it okay if I come out here for a few minutes? Yeah, 
Yeah, sure. Just stay up here if you would. Just make sure you, you just do this a lot. It makes it harder for snipers. Where's Brock? I've got him inside. Grandma's with him. He's running off. There's paperwork. How's he doing? Did Gus do something to the kid? It's like he's got the flu, but, but he just keeps getting worse. First thoughts, isn't the, uh, I think it's a bean, the poison bean that Walt uses, where it's like flu-like symptoms, but you die. But would Gus know about that? And Walt wouldn't have done this. No. 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 Did, did the kid take one of his cigarettes to smoke it? Because they might believe she did it. Tell them, okay, now. Is there a cure? Fire! Oh my gosh. I don't have any comments. That's just such an intense situation. What do you want? His place is a fortress. On my knees. They threatened my family. Can you stop pointing the gun at my toes? I need them. Gus is gonna make his move. I don't, I don't know. When? What's Jesse doing there? I thought he'd be there for like... All I know is it's gonna happen. For the cure to ricin? You thought you did it. Okay, look, just... He thought he did it? The ricin! He's dying because someone gave it to him! I think you are careless, Jesse. Maybe he went into your pockets and- No! I had the cigarette with the ricin in my pack this morning. The last time I saw Brock was last night. And this morning, I switched the cigarette into- Why? God man, when I poison a child. To get back at me! That is the thing. It's kind of a- The bar is the floor. Walt wouldn't kill a kid. Gus would. Here's the laughing again. This Arthur Fleck. Who do you know? Who's okay with using children? Mm, Gus! He manipulated you into pulling the trigger for him. Well, you and I knew about the rice. No! Gus's cameras everywhere, please. He might have even bugged Jesse's house. Where were you then? Like I said. Don't you see? You are the last piece of the puzzle. The final friend. piece of the puzzle. If you think that I am capable that is the edge. Put a bullet in my head. That's the edge Walt has. Walt wouldn't do that to a kid, and Gus would. Gus isn't that smart. He's smart. I taught you high school chemistry. That's a bond no one can break. Is there a cure for ricin? Where you going? If I find this son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill him. No. Bad idea. Bad idea. You're just gonna end up dead. You'll die. I don't care. Jesse. That is something these two have in common. And let me help. Are they finally gonna be a true team? Is he gonna be okay? Mr. Pinkman, I'm gonna call security. Oh. It's probably best if he leaves them be. And in Jesse's psyche, this is gonna play into the feeling that he has that anything in his life is becomes corrupted and the idea that he sees himself as a monster. Needs to be at work now. Shit. Hey, I don't know this guy! I'm being attacked! <laughs> That's the thing that maybe Gus is overestimated or underestimated. Jesse does care more about people than really himself. Like, Gus's plan was to kill the child, but Jesse cares more about the child than he does about Walt. So if Jesse ever figured out that that was Gus's plan, he'd also never cook for him again. So it was kind of a bad idea. A pipe bomb? Wow. Okay, you're gonna need to make it a little more reliable than that. Don't shake your head like, yeah, perfect. That was not perfect. That's gonna cause problems. I can't be away. I don't even want to be here. I am very sorry. You are not. You don't care about anyone but yourself. He's not sick. He was poisoned. 
How did that happen? Walt did it. They don't know. But I know. Stay with the boy. You will start a new batch when you are ready to return next week. Never trust when an evil person is nice. Okay, I think the pipe bomb is placed. So we'll see what happens. Accidentally presses the button. Whoop! Keep going. Is he suspicious? He's smart. Oh, is Gus gonna figure it out? Come on. Well, you gotta hide. He's gonna see him. Oh my gosh. Hide, man. Hide. Gus has got to have some sort of sixth sense. Is he gonna look him in the eye? Did he see him? I mean, he didn't get this far without being just incredibly cautious, so I guess that makes sense. How'd Walt get on that roof? Okay. We're about to get into the finale. I'm excited to see what happens. It's called Face Off, so somebody's gonna lose their face. Yeah, I don't have much to say about that last one. Let's just get into the finale. Do they have somebody watching them? That'd be the smart thing if you, sus if you suspected it. That would count as suspicious activity that somebody should probably report. What did you say to Gus? Because he's on to it. What, does he have some kind of sixth sense? I think he does. Where can we find Gus? Name a place. Name me one place where I could surprise him. Yeah, but it seems like at his house, you can just walk up to his door and knock and nobody intercepts. Because if you can't tell me, we are dead. Does Jesse know another place? I don't know. Excuse me, Jesse Pinkman? Detective Calancho, how about you come with us? We just want to clear a few things up, no big deal. He should have a lawyer. <laughs> Walt's sitting there with a bomb. Woof. Jesse, why did you tell Brock's mom the boy had been poisoned? I think this, this... All you have to say is you heard about it in, in a class. Bryson, that's definitely a big one. Doctors, they hear that. They take it very seriously, as do we. They don't have to act super smug about this. Sharing your expertise. I ain't got no expertise. Uh, I guess this one... You saw it on TV, something like that. Just say, there's a few stories that are kind of believable. Jesse, how'd you come up with that? I, mean, I think I, I don't know, I must have saw it on a house or something. I was gonna mention house as well. I should call my lawyer. Right? We're just having a simple conversation, Jess. You should call your Keep lawyer. Man, you know how it is when the lawyers get to it. Suddenly, everything's a big pissing match. You guys are kind of acting like it's one already. Saul Goodman. That's my guy. So do I gotta call him, or do you? <laughs> Saul is out of the country, shredding everything. Not the best lawyer to have at the moment. Just a couple more pieces of paper, then I can answer the door. And what gives you the right to break down my door? You are such a pain in my ass. You know that? <laughs> She's finally door speaking. Door. door like this? It's gonna cost way more than 1700 What? For a plate of glass? No. Oh, yeah? I bet it does. <laughs> I bet it cost 20000 <laughs> She's learned from the best. I'll be right back. Is he gonna go through the hole in the door? Just open the door, man. Can't believe he hasn't been intercepted by... I was gonna say Mike, but I remembered Mike is incapacitated at the moment. But the other guy. Skyler and I are out of town, and Junior just told us that he, he thinks he may have left the, the burner on, on the stove to do this, but do you still have the key? <laughs> He's gonna put someone in harm's way to protect himself. 
What if the house explodes when she opens it? I don't think that's going to happen, but I... You would see my shocked face, nonetheless, if it did. The way this is shot... I was going to say the way it was shot makes me think somebody was there, but then I saw that somebody was there. <laughs> Why's that got to be so loud? I owe you one. Big time. He owes her more than she knows. He put her in the line of fire. Guess who's back? Back again. You can see there's a trap door there, right? <laughs> I love the way he moves around like that. It's clear he's... Well, he's not athletic. You tell him. I told him there were a couple of dicks. <laughs> he's a wordsmith. Well, detectives, it's been a pleasure. Now, up you go. Get the hell out. Bye-bye. Pick it up and follow your partner. You too. All I can say is if I ever get anal polyps, I'll know what to name them. <laughs> if he gets two, that'll be perfect. He'll have all the names he needs. I've been thinking. Casa Tranquila, Tio Salamanca. Old guy in a wheelchair. Does that ring a bell? Does that ring a bell? I mean, the... <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm not so smart that I was the only one to come up with that joke, but I did think of it before he said it. They're enemies, not friends. Is B number three. <laughs> it's going to get him through Tio Salamanca. That's o the enemy the of, of my enemy is my friend. Hopefully they see it that way. I am offering you an opportunity for revenge. Excluding Alaska and Hawaii. He's got those facial expressions down. A, row A, A, E. Need. D. A, row Need A, dead. A. I don't think we're finished, Mr. Salamanca. A. Yep, that is what he, need DEA. Is it deer? No, it's the Drug Enforcement I Agency. Dia in the word. Help me out here. Woof. This is a serious situation, and it's like you're not taking it seriously. I can assure you there's absolutely no interest <laughs> in me. I'm not on, on anyone's radar. And thank you for all of your help. <laughs> well, <laughs> what was that? Anything? They're going to call him off soon. This panel, if I'm reading it correctly, is 7,200 amp service. So what's with the extra panel? Shouldn't the employed detectives be doing all the stuff that Hank's doing? And he still just wants to talk to you. And there is no way that you are going to do it. <laughs> End of story. Hank, thanks for coming. <laughs> what a fun cut. I love cuts like that. So, Mr. Salamanca, you got something you want to tell me? First letter S. Second letter U. C. K. <laughs> Where is he going with this? M. Y. All right. That's enough. Yeah, thanks. I, uh, spell. <laughs> I don't know that there's any other way that that could have gone. Suck my... The person you're looking for is Gus Fring. It just doesn't, doesn't check out. <laughs> he winked. I mean, I guess it's part of the plan to lure Gus to him. He didn't actually need to say anything to the DEA, he just needed Gus to see that he went there so that he can get the bomb to him. I got eyes on the DEA. I just had a visitor, Hector Salamanca. Which incriminates Jesse because Walt wouldn't know that he was talking to him. And Walt's here. Any second thoughts? Is it two for no? Let's get to work. Hopefully Walt's not parked there. What is the front desk person doing? Just... Yeah. 
Man, Gus is very, very careful. Okay, Walt's gone. Okay, Walt's not gone. That guy probably should have checked outside, but... Mr. Pink, you're free to go. Why? What happened? Talk screen came back. No ricin poison. Dang. He got got. I'm on my way. Okay. That's their chance. But he's got to be thinking of how Walt could be involved in that. When you lose Mike, everything goes to crap. I wonder what's going through his head. He's hard to read. He looks sad. The way he was walking and the music made it seem like he was walking to his death, which he certainly could be, but things don't always go Walt and Jesse's way, so. <laughs> he could have lifted it up. Is that truth serum? There's no such thing as truth serum. Or is that just death serum? Oh my gosh! That was disgusting. And there's no way he could survive that, right? I know Harvey Dent in a fictional, comical Batman survived that. But there's no way. No way Gus survived that. Then what happens now? Maybe Walt will just assume control? Pay all the people who Gus was paying before, so their loyalties changed to him, and now he's in charge? That's a bold move. Do it. I guess we'll see. What? You got a problem with stairs? Maybe that's the play. Maybe that's what's happening. Gus is dead. It looks like We've it. have got work to do. I don't know how he could have survived that, but... This is a TV show, so we'll see. I I have my doubts, but I'm gonna... Uh, he's dead-ish, I guess. What are they doing? Definitely doesn't look like they're taking over the operation. Seems like they're trashing things. They're gonna have a cup of Gail's coffee before they leave. Oh, they're gonna destroy this place entirely, which is going to prove Hank correct, and hopefully they're off clean. But Mike's still around, so I don't know what's going to happen with Mike. Are they going to get those people out of there before they destroy the entire place? Okay, that's what they're doing. We're good. Now those people don't have jobs. Luke Skywalker over here. How is this going to conclude? He's going to pull through. Yeah. Yeah, it Good. Looked, uh, he's going to make it. Oh, thank God. It was most likely a flower called Lily of the Valley. So Gus didn't poison him after all. He, uh, he had to go, right? Damn right. Gus had to go. That's so confusing. What does it all mean? I should get back. And thus ends the story of Breaking Bad. There is no more story to tell. For Gus is dead, they have gone their separate ways. They shook hands, of course, and it is over. 
four great seasons of Breaking Bad, not five and a movie with a spin-off of what six seasons now? The fireball completely consumed one resident's room. There are three people in that room. If they're confirmed dead, then Gus is dead. Gus Spring is dead. Do you know about this? Should you maybe have this conversation a little further from the people? We're safe. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. Was this you? <laughs> what happened? I won. <laughs> that wasn't your husband Walt on the phone, it was... Heisenberg. So I was wrong about Hank figuring out it was him in this season finale. I mean, it's not over. Could happen in the final seconds, but... Both Polio brothers are gone. Hopefully, Cynthia, I believe her name is, takes command of at least that branch. The food looked good. We're zooming into that plant again? What's up with that plant? What's in there? My gosh. Walt. I defended you, Walt. I said you would never do that to a kid, and you did it. You... Right? I'm right about that, right? That's what the show is telling us. He used the lily of the valley. He poisoned the kid to turn Jesse against Gus so that they could take him out. Okay, before I say too many mean things about Walt, season four was great. Early on in the season, I don't know if it was just my mood when I watched it, the pace, I don't know. I was like, people have told me that season four is really good. And for a good nine-ish episodes, I was like, eh, it's about the same. I might have liked other seasons, seasons a little more. But these last four episodes have been amazing. Made season four really awesome. So much fun. And now I really want to get into season five, which won't be today, but will definitely be sooner now that I'm really hyped about this. I was liking it before, but now I'm fully engaged. Might come back to bite him in the butt, though, if Jesse ever finds out. He's got to get rid of that plant. Or at least the tag. It says Lily of the Valley on it. So we'll see. The only prediction I really remember making is when Hank would find out it's Walt. Obviously that didn't happen when I called it. The end of season four. So... I don't know. Part of me thinks maybe it's the end of season five, but I feel like they're going to want to milk that a little bit maybe a mid-season finale of season five he'll be like it's walt we'll see we'll see we'll get to it well anyway that was really fun really enjoyed that can't wait to get to season five and then el camino after it hope you guys enjoyed the reaction if you like this video like it comment if you want to talk about it subscribe if you want to see more Consider becoming a patron to see uncut reactions, early access reactions, and to vote in polls. Thank you so much for watching.